Shanky's Pizza. And versatile video presenting you this afternoon, men's slow pitch softball. At La Mesa Junior High, Dave Keller Plumbing in blue versus La Mesa Calvary Chapel in orange. Two ball clubs fighting it out. Dave Keller seven and two on the year, and Lisa Calvary four five and one. I'm George Marvel. Good day to y'all. I'll be bringing you all the action this afternoon in just one minute. Good afternoon. Welcome to some softball action, slow pitch style. La Mesa batting against Dave Keller Plumbing, who are wearing the blue jerseys today. And the leadoff batter for La Mesa is Kenny Crowley. Grounds it to the first base side. Love there by Don Liddy for the putout. One away now, and batting second will be Ryan Richards, the right center fielder. One away for the La Mesa Calvary Chapel. They are in the orange this afternoon. Strike call to Ron Richards, the first pitch, as he looks at it. Kind of teeters over the plate. And the next pitch underway. Low and away, one ball, one strike. These games are very fast paced, and they do take only about an hour for seven innings of play. And a little soft fly ball to third, and caught there by Al Gardner, actually out moving over a little bit. He's the shortstop, catching it. And there's two quick outs now. Danny Booth stepping in. Danny's the first baseman. Booth, a left-handed batter. And here's the pitch. Strike call. 0-1, Dan Booth. And the next pitch underway. A drive and foul outside third base. Glove there by the... No, excuse me, that is a... That is a fair ball. Okay, in fair territory. Not easy to see from that angle. And a double now for Dan Booth. Tom Klingforth, the starting hurler for La Mesa, is up. Taking the first pitch inside for a ball. He is a cleanup hitter today. Trying to produce a run for La Mesa Calvary. And a drive now in the center field. A base hit. Rounding third and scoring will be Dan Booth. And now La Mesa Calvary up 1-0 over Dave Keller, plumbing blue. Two outs, a run is in here as La Mesa Calvary takes a 1-0 lead against Dave Keller Plumbing, who are in the blue. And the pitch right here, the number five hitter, a chopper to shortstop. Still there, or a shortstop, Gardner throwing to second base. Gary Rogers has it, and the third out is recorded. And after a half inning of play, La Mesa Calvary in orange, one and Dave Keller Plumbing in blue coming to bat. We're going to the bottom of the first inning. Batting for the first time in the ball game is Dave Keller Plumbing in the blue. And Ed Stennett, the leadoff batter, playing third base today. Wearing a t-shirt today. He didn't have his uniform, so... I'm sure you can pick Eddie out in a crowd anywhere today. I'm George Marble, bringing you the action here at Shakey's and Versatile Video meet again in this production of Little League and Area Baseball, and today with the slow pitch softball game. La Mesa up in front, one to nothing. A strike call now to Stennett. We are in the bottom of the first inning. And a little check swing off to the left side. A little tip foul out of play and 0-2 oh the count. Stennett now looking in again and the pitch thrown. And he walks. So the first walk of the game by the hurler, Tom Klingforth of La Mesa. Walking Ed Stennett. And now Cuz Garcia is up. Cuz is playing right center today in a big line outfield for the Dave Keller Plumbing team. A grounder to pitchers down. And out there at first base. And one away. A 
quick ground out and thrown out as Coach Garcia grounds out. So one away right here as the Dave Keller crew has, has got out on the ground out. A fly ball now to left field going back and let's see. Yes, sir, it's going to be a home run. So a ball that was in the corner that looked foul going against the tree stayed in fair territory at just the right moment. And a home run now for the Dave Keller plumbing crew who are wearing blue today. So it is a inside ball one to Mike Grandy, to Al Gardner. Pardon you. And a drive right there, base hit, left field side. And Al reaches first base, now hustling to second, and he will make it. So Al Gardner doubling to left field. There are two men out. I had called that home run earlier. That, was a, that wasn't out. So Mike Grandy flying out. Correction on that. So it's still a one nothing ball game. La Mesa is in front by one. We are in the bottom of the first inning. We're having a good afternoon. And a fly drive right to the first baseman, Dan Booth. And the side is retired. So no runs, a hit, and one left. At the end of an inning, Omesa, Calvary one, and Dave Keller plumbing, nothing. Correction on the score, my apologies again, that was a home run, and here's another drive to the right field, and that's a foul ball, I believe, yes it is, outside the white line, and Billy Smith, the leadoff hitter for La Mesa, will do it over again. La Mesa and Dave Keller are tied today right here in the top of the second, one to one. A home run by Mike Grandy tied it in the bottom of the first inning as he batted for Dave Keller plumbing in blue. And it was a deep home run in the left field, and I wasn't sure on the single, but it was officially a home run. So again, my apologies to that. One to one ball game, and now a base hit to center field. Billy Smith will retreat to first as he took a little wide turn towards second. And now a base runner for La Mesa. Orbeck, designated hitter today, possibly may enter the game in the future or in the second game of this double header as a outfielder. And now a drive, just left field, a base hit. And now runners on first and second. Orbeck singling hard to left field. And now La Mesa is looking to get some more runs as they got two men on in a row in this top of the second inning. I'm George Marble bringing you the action. And it should be an exciting softball game. A lot is at stake for Dave Keller Plumbing. They are 7-2 on the season, and they want to improve on that record to possibly take over first place, and they will do so if they win both games today. The pitch inside. La Mesa Calvary, on the other hand, is four and five with one tie. They are in sixth place. They want to hit the playoffs. Ground ball, second, to short, covering second, and he is out of there. A good play by the middle infield of Dave Keller. Two outs now. One ball, no strikes. Ball inside to Mark Avery, the second baseman. Both in the catcher today, inside to him. And Gillespie falls behind, 2-0 to Fulton. Stepping in, ready to hit here, in the pitch. Inside, 3-0. And he's in danger of walking Fulton. Out line drive, caught there by the third baseman. And the third out has been made. Fulton lining out, and the side is retired. No runs on two hits, and we had one left. At the end of an inning and a half, score, La Mesa one and Dave Keller one.
second. La Mesa getting a quick out from Dave Keller as Gillespie grounding out to first base from the pitcher. And a strike call to, I believe, Ken, Ken Wright, the right fielder, and the pitch. Strike called. One ball, one strike. And the pitch thrown. Two balls and a strike to Kent Wright. Here we go again. And a little fly ball, foul territory. Nobody can get to it. It hits the top tip of the fence and goes out of the parkway where the cars will drive by. Two balls and two strikes now to Kent Wright. And Kent Wright now fans. So Kent Wright fanning on the pitch by Tom Klingforth. That's his first strike out of the game. And now Gary Rogers is up. Gary, the second baseman, hitting in the number eight position in the batting order for Dave Keller Plumbing. This is the first game of a double header as Dave Keller will be playing the second game, I believe. And here's the next pitch. Inside. 2-0 to Gary Rogers. And the pitch thrown. Strike. 3-0, actually. And a pitch right now. Ball four, and Gary walks on a three and one pitch. So Dave Keller has have a man on first base and one out. And Rocky Castellino, the catcher, up for his first time. Swung on and grounded to second. Thrown near to first in time. And the side is retired. Nothing across at the end of two innings of play. La Mesa one, Dave Keller one. We're going to the top of the third inning. A 1-1 ball game. La Mesa Calvary Chapel playing Dave Keller Plumbing in blue at La Mesa Junior High Field. Hope you're enjoying the early portions of this ball game. And in case you missed it or weren't paying attention, a big home run by Mike Grandy for Dave Keller in the first inning. Tied the score, but it was a really shot over the left fielder's head and into the corner beyond him on a ground ball to second right here. And the first base, one away. Ted Harwood grounding out to second. So one quick out here in the third inning. And up steps to the plate, Scott Gronk, the shortstop. Scott stepping in for his first time. And a game that is important for La Mesa. They want to be in contention. They are in sixth place this year. Four, five, and one, their record. But they do want to improve on that today and hopefully have a chance to get into the playoffs. In order to qualify for the playoffs, you must be in the top four. And they are number six right now, and they want to improve on that. A foul ball going to the left field side, now to play over to the screen over the fence and away as the person on the bench for La Mesa fields the ball and runs for it. And we'll do it over again. Scott Grog looking for his pitch and he finds something not to his liking and he takes it, a ball away from him. One and one and the pitch to Scott. A hard shot in the left field. Beyond the shortstop side, base hit. Now going to second, Grog hustling, and now trying for third, and he's going to get it. A good hustling play. Ordinarily, that would be just a normal 
normally a base hit, but uh, the fields were all converging around there, and uh, apparently the communication was not there. So he gets all the way to third base on that. And he'll score a double and an error on one of the outfielders. So one away, a man on third. Of Grog and Mark Schroeder will be up. Mark, the designated hitter today. The pitch. Strike call. One ball, one strike. Softball is a little different than baseball. You're well aware that in first base, you cannot be tagged out if you're trying to be picked off. You have to be, all you do is throw the ball to first, and a man steps on the bag, and you are out without yeah. even being touched by the baseball. Play, and now a force out at first. Not a squeeze play, an easy ground out to the pitcher, throwing to first, and that was Schroeder. He is retired, now there's two men out. And Kenny Crow will be out for a second time. Score right now, 1-1. One, one. We are in the top of the third inning, La Mesa battling against Dave Keller. Kenny Crow, his first time up, he grounded out to first. He's now grounding foul outside third base. Fielded there are the coaching lines at third by one of the coaches. Kenny is an easy man to spot. He's wearing a yellow jersey with number 25 on, the only man on this team with a jersey number. And now ground ball. Followed there by the third baseman, and Crow will get on. He'll be on first safely. The man on third stays there, does not score. He did, and the man on third did score. I didn't quite see that play. He did come in on the ground out, and that will be a run batted in for Kenny Crow. And now to a two to one ball game, will makes it up by one run. And the folly floater is inside. One ball, one strike. Pitch back. And a hard drive into the outfield. Left center, base hit. Philly by the left center fielder. A throw to third. Not in time. Now he's going to score. And Crow will come home. And he is safe at the plate. And now 3 to 1 score. Man hit the, hitting the ball, going to third, and safe there. 3 to 1. La Mesa Calvary up in front of Dave Keller Plumbing in blue. We are in the top of the third. La Mesa is hitting the ball pretty hard this inning and showing some muscle to where the gaps can be placed for their aim so they can get hits. Ron Richards is 0 for 1 this afternoon. And a strike call down the middle. 1 and 1 to Ron Richards. Third inning of play, La Mesa Calvary 3. And Dave Keller plumbing one. And a fly ball between the second baseman and the left fielder. And a tweener is there. And now we got a man going to second base. And he holds there. And a run is in again. And it's a 4-1 to ball game. A fly ball single by Ron Richards. Drives in another run. And it is now 3-1. 4-1. to one. Four to one. Pardon me. La Mesa Calvary up in front. Pitch is outside and away from the hitter. 1-0 and oh to Dan Booth. Tommy Klingforth. Correction, he's the hitter. Tommy is one for one, driving in the first run for La Mesa today. Klingforth patiently waiting for the next pitch. And here it is. Strike called, one and two to cling forth. And the next pitch. A tight swing and not a good hit and grounded to first and the inning is over. Three runs have scored though on three hits. And after two and a half innings, La Mesa, Calvary four and Dave Keller in blue, one. bottom of the 
the third, Dave Keller hitting against La Mesa Calvary. Dave Keller trailing this ball game. Four to one right here. And looking for some runs tied up. As we are close to the halfway mark, these games last about seven innings and they only last about an hour in length. They're very much fast paced and do not let up at all. So leading off for Dave Keller, plumbing in the bottom of the third is Don Liddy. Inside to him, right near his belt buckle, 1-0. And, oh. and the pitch. Takes another one away from him, 2-0 oh to Liddy. And now the pitch. Strike call. Two balls and one strike to Don Liddy. We are at Little Mesa Junior High School bringing you all the action on men's slow pitch softball. And now Liddy fouls it back about six inches into the catcher's glove. And he catches it. And now Liddy is retired. So Liddy fouling out to the catcher. And now Eddie Sennett, not Stennett, but Sennett is up. Eddie walked his first time up and has not officially been up today. Inside two in the first pitch, one and oh. I'm George Marble bringing you the action this afternoon. Hope all of you at Shakey's watching this video are having fun doing so and hopefully the team that you want to win is doing it. Strike call to Stennett, one one. Anybody interested in purchasing, purchasing these tapes? Price is not too high. For more information on it, you can contact the manager of Shanky's at 695-1320, and you can ask for Dave, and he can fill you in on all the information about these videos. The pitch. Away and low. Three and one. The Senate, the pitch. Strike. And now a pitch back to Tom. And a fly ball. Center field and left center field. The left center fielder has it. And there is an out recorded for La Mesa. La Mesa getting an out from Dave Keller. So a man on first, one out. And Cuz Garcia getting the last out and now Mike Grandy up. Grandy is the one who had the big home run in the first inning to tie the ball game up at one and one. And a hard grounder to third base, throwing to first. And he is in time. So he stays, beats the runner. Uh, the runner beats the first baseman, correction on that. And he is safe there. And Dave Keller now has a few men on base. They have runners on first and third with one out. And a fly ball now to center field, and he's got it on track. He makes the catch, and that was two outs. So that is the side out right there in the end of the inning, and three innings have gone by with La Mesa winning right here, four to one over Dave Keller. is Bobby Calero, the third baseman. Bobby grounded out his first time up. And we have a interesting ball game thus far. La Mesa ahead four to one. And the fourth inning has begun. Two and oh to Bobby Calero. And now Gillespie pitching. And a fly ball drive to center. Going back to center fielder. Cuz Garcia, he makes the catch. And the first man has been retired. So Calero flying out to center field. And Billy Smith will be up. Billy is one for one. A base hit to left, fi left field his first time up. Billy, a left-handed batter, facing Bob Gillespie. Outside the ball, one and oh. We are in the men's slow pitch softball league today covering the action.
and a towering fly at second and caught there by Al Gardner, the captain of this ball club, making it and two down. Norbrook trying to get some things going again here for La Mesa. La Mesa jumping off to a 1-0 lead. Had the game tied at the bottom of the first inning by a big home run by Mike Grandy, but have recaptured the lead by scoring three in the third and are now up in the fourth inning. And a hard shot to third. Thrown to first, jumping up in the air and landing on the bag for the third out is Don Liddy. So the side is retired, nothing across at the end of three and a half innings. La Mesa Calvary four, and Dave Keller in blue, one. Fourth inning of play, as Dave Keller will be hitting. And leading off for Dave Keller will Al Gardner. A four to one score. La Mesa up ahead of Dave Keller. Low and away. Two and all to Al Gardner. Al is the head of this ball club. He is the manager and coach. And now Gardner walks on four pitches. And a leadoff walk in this ball game for the Dave Keller plumbing team in the bottom of the fourth inning. And stepping to the plate, the opposing pitcher, Bob Gillespie. He is 0 for 1, grounding out. First time up. Strike. Inside of the knees, that little folly floater, that man's slow pitch softball is so famous for. And now a hard grounder, second base side, and it's going to be a base hit in the left field. Right field, grounded there. Fielded by the right fielder. And now we have men on. The corners at first and third. One with nobody out. The first two with one out, excuse me. Correction as the players loudly say no outs. And it is no outs. A walk and a base hit for runners on first and third. And now Kenny Johnson. Johnson, a soft grounder to the pitcher, his first time up. Now a little nubbing fly ball outside of first and fielded there and made the put out made and now tag up to home plate. But so Kenny Johnson driving in a run on a foul fly to first base. The man on third scoring on the play. Al Gardner. So we have a four to two ball game. Ground ball to third, throw to first, and away from the bag, an error on the throw, and now going to second base will be Gary Rogers. So Gary Rogers on second, going to first on a grounder to third, but thrown over to the first baseman's head, and so Rogers will advance to second. So runners on second and third, a run is in this inning, Dave Keller has scored two this ball game. They were behind, four to two, to La Mesa. Blowing away to the next batter, Rocky Castellini. And now a drive into the left field, a base hit. One run will score, and it looks as though, no, the run on third trying to score, getting back to third, and he is safe. So a run is in, four to three now. Dave Keller chipping away at La Mesa. One away, two runs are in, and Don Liddy will be the batter. Don, a left-handed hitter, 0 for 1, his first time up. First pitch is low, then the second pitch, a fly ball to center field. Easy play for the center fielder, he makes the catch, and now tagging up on the play with another run in. Scoring on the play is... I believe Kent Wright, and now it is a four to three ball game. Yeah, 
four to four, excuse me, it ties the ball game up. A sacrifice fly by Liddy and a run batted in. And now four to four. So Dave Keller has come back and has scored three here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Strike called. To Ed Stennett, the leadoff batter. Ed has walked twice in two appearances. We are in the fourth inning, and the score is now tied at four and four. A chopper to the second baseman. Bobbling it, throwing the first. And now the third baseman, feeling it as a man on third trying to get away, and he is safe, though, as the ball is thrown back in. So, a infield hit or an error in the second baseman, depending on how you call it. Four to four, Dave Keller rallying for three runs in the bottom of the fourth. And they're still hitting now. And the pitch thrown. Cuz Garcia is 0 for two with a foul out and a ground out. And a little fly ball calling this left center fielder and making the play for the third out three runs on two hits a couple walks and two men left on base at the end of four innings of play La Mesa four and Dave Keller in blue four fifth inning of play La Mesa battling against Dave Keller, but Dave Keller has come back from a 4-1 deficit to tie at 4-4, and now leading off for La Mesa in this top of the fifth, I believe is Doug Norbeck. Doug is one for one with the base hit. And the pitch to him. Low and away. 2-0. And now Norbuck waiting for the next pitch. Ball four. So Norbuck walks. Lead off walk for the La Mesa Calvary Chapel. And the next hitter stepping in. And a hard drive to score. Nice glove work there by the shortstop. Double play. Let's look at that play again. Around the horn pretty much shortstop to second to first. A nice glove work there by the shortstop. Al Gardner for Dave Keller pulling. A hard shot going to his glove side, wheeling and throwing to second. And then second baseman quickly throwing to first base in time. And now there are two quick outs. Stepping to the plate now for La Mesa is Kenny Kroll. Kenny is oh, one for two. He drove in. He's actually 0 for two, but he did get a run batted in via a ground out to first base. Pitch inside. One and one to Kroll. Ground ball. Pitcher to first. Inning over after four and a half. La Mesa three, La Mesa four, and Dave Keller plumbing four. Fifth inning of play, Dave Keller has turned at bat. Dave Keller plumbing has scored four, but the problem is LaMesa has also done the same thing, and they're trying to put some more runs on the board and capture the lead for the first time this afternoon. We are at LaMesa Junior High School Field, and Jackie's Pizza and Versatile Video joining you and presenting you to this video. Hopefully you're all enjoying it. Base it. For Mike Grandy, Mike has had a big day. He's had a home run. He has fouled out, and now with this base hit. So he is two for three on the afternoon. And now Al Gardner, the leader of this ball club, the shortstop, made the sparkler the last inning is up. 
and a high fly ball. Second base, left field. The left fielder has it, calling off the second baseman for the out. So one away as Gardner flies out. And now Bob Gillespie, the starting pitcher for Dave Keller, is up. Gillespie, one for two with a hit. Bob wearing the number 24, a very popular number if you're a baseball fan. Pitches low, 1-0. and oh. Everybody remembers Willie Mays, and I'm sure Gillespie does himself. Two balls and no strikes. A little number off the end of the bat and away from the screen and out of play. Two balls and one strike to Bob Gillespie. We are in the fifth inning. Game is moving right along. A tie ball game, 4-4. Fly ball, center field, short center, and caught. By the center fielder of La Mesa, that is... Ted Horwood, I believe. So two men away. And now Kenny Johnson will step in. Kenny, the left center fielder this afternoon. Kenny has grounded out the pitcher, and he has flied out to first base. But that was like a sacrifice fly because it was not at a good angle. It was outside first, and the man had to wheel around and throw it at first to home, but it did get a run in. A little easy fly to second. He came in for that one, and the side is retired. Nothing across for Dave Killer in the fifth. And after five innings of play, La Mesa Calvary four, and Dave Keller plumbing in blue four. On a warm kind of breezy afternoon at times right here in La Mesa Junior High School in La Mesa. I am George Marble bringing you all the play-by-play -play action as we have men's slow pitch softball La Mesa Calvary Chapel against Dave Keller Plumbing and La Mesa batting here in the top of the sixth in a 4-4 square off and leaning off of La Mesa and driving it to left field foul is Ron Richards. Ron has had a pretty good day. He's flying out to short, but he has also dri driven in a run with a fly ball single, a little Texas leaguer between center field and second base. And here's the pitch to Richards. A drive to left field, deep, going back. Left fielder, and he makes an overhand catch. Let's look at that one again. A nice overhand play by the left fielder, going back. The ball was close to over his head. He kept going, though. His glove did the work, though, and he put it in the old basket. So we have one away in the top of the sixth inning. Well, Mesa trying to get some runs. And now Danny Booth will be up. Danny has doubled his first time up and grounded out in two appearances. And Booth playing first this afternoon also. Danny, a blonde-haired youngster from California, and only all. Low and hitting the ground and ball four as Danny Booth walks pretty, pretty quickly in that one. And now, Tom Klingforth will be up. Tom has driven in one of the runs for La Mesa today with a base hit in the first inning. The pitch to Klingforth is a strike. Inside, one ball, one strike. Very, very tight ball game. 4-4, four, four, and a chopper to first, the throw into second, and back to shore, back to first. And not in time. A good attempt there by the infield to turn a double play. They've already turned one last inning, and they're looking for another one, but two men out nonetheless.
And now Ken Wright will be up. The right fielder. Correction on that, that will be Bobby Tolero, the third baseman, as Coonforth grounds out to second base. And now, quick grounder to pitcher to first, and the inning is over. So, Tolero grounding out, inning is over, and at the end of five and a half innings, La Mesa Calvary four, and Dave Keller Plumbing four. And we're going to the bottom of the sixth as Dave Keller is hitting. And the first batter for Dave Keller, a quick fly ball to the left field, caught out there by the left fielder, Ted Horwood, and one away as Kenny Johnson flying out. And now Kent Wright is up. Kent playing right this afternoon. And a drive near the alley, but closed the gap quickly there by the left fielder. And two men away. So Kent Wright. Closing the, closing the gap pretty fast. Actually, Billy Smith, the right fielder, and uh, Ted Horwood again. Yes, all right, Ted Horwood making both putouts this inning. So there are two men away, and Gary Rogers will step in. And a little easy fly ball, third base side, caught there by the third baseman, and the sign is retired. In a hurry, nothing across, and at the end of six innings, We'll miss a Calvary four and Dave Keller four. And the teammates are saying to themselves, oh, they gotta believe, you sure do, because it's a four to four ball game. Seventh inning of play, the last inning of this ball game, unless, of course, somebody does not score because nobody. Usually, I believe, has tie games in this league, although it could be in the ruling. I do not know that information. But right here, the seventh inning of play, and leading off is Billy Smith for La Mesa. And a one and one count to him as two pitches came in very quickly, as these men do not waste time. And the pitch to Smith. And a drive opposite way, left field side is going to, yes, it is. It's going to drop for a base hit. Smith on it first with a single, leading off here, the seventh inning for La Mesa. So La Mesa doing the right thing in the last inning of a ball game, leading off with the base hit, getting that leadoff man on to begin a possible rally. And now Doug Norbeck, the DH. Looking at one pitch and not swinging, 1-0. and oh. Norbeck, one for two on the afternoon. And a hard ground ball, a pitcher to second, and now to first place. Not first place, first base, but they look like first place right there. Good double play. And let's look at that play again. A nice play where the men were quick to the reactions. They were not slowing down. A quick ground of the pitcher, throwing to second. Second man, second baseman wheeling to first without hesitation, and two men are gone. So the bases are clean again as the Dave Keller group Clean the bases with the infield. I one and one count now to Mark Avery, the second baseman. And now a nice play, second baseman to first. And let's look at that ball play again. An excellent play by the second baseman going to his right, scooping the ball up. It could have been a base hit, but he made it in time for the out. A nice play by the second baseman, Gary Rogers. Nothing across. Nobody is left on at the end of six and a half innings. La Mesa four and Dave Keller four. And now Don Liddy leading off the number nine batter for the Dave Keller pulling team. Trying to pull this one out. Four to four. They are in the last of the seventh. And now lofted fly ball to right field. And now it is caught by the right fielder. Nice play, sliding padded catch. 
And let's look at that play again. The right fielder coming in for the ball and then sliding his feet and breaking as his glove went down by his ankles and he made the catch. So a really good play and a good start for the defense of La Mesa. Now Ed Senate is up, I believe. Senate is 0 for 1 officially, walking twice in this ball game. A base hit now through the hole between short and second. So man is on for Dave Kell Plumbing. So Senate gets a hit, and now Cuz Garcia will be the hitter. Cuz is one for two on the day. And here's the pitch. No swing on it. And a strike called one and one to Cuz Garcia, the right center fielder. The pitch. Strike call one and two. Just nipping the outside corner. And here's the next pitch. Blowing away, two and two to Cuz Garcia. There are two men out in this inning. The pitch. And now it looks as though a full count to Cuz Garcia. And here's the pitch. Ball four, and he works out a walk. A very big one, possibly, for Dave Keller. We are in the bottom of the seventh inning. La Mesa four, and Dave Keller plumbing four. And the scorekeeper tells me there is one out in this game. So one out, a man on first, reaching on a walk. And Mike Grandy, the man who got the first run home for Dave Keller, he hit a towering fly ball home run over the left fielder's head into the corner right near the bushes and it was a big one and maybe something like that will occur again he has the power to do it and now another drive back the left field always had it looks as though the game is going to be over folks that is a game winning RBI by Mike Grandy Mike doing it in high style a two run blast and the final score of this ball game Dave Keller six and La Mesa four, and now Dave Keller is going to be playing the second ball game. A big win for him, and we'll be back with the final totals in just one moment. We're back here at La Mesa Junior High Field, and a great softball game if you like slow pitch softball. You see some of these men really tag the baseball because they sure do. A lot of times it goes at people, but in Mike Grandy's case, it went, the only place it went was nature. Over the human being's heads, it went far. The home run he hit in the first inning, and also the one that he would have had credited for in the last of the seven, but only one run was needed to win the ball game, and that was enough, so he did get the game-winning RBI, Mike Grandy, and he is our star of the ball game in this first game of a doubleheader. La Mesa took an early lead of four to one as they scored three runs in the third inning. Dave Keller fought back for three runs in the fourth, tying it for four, and then both teams played tight baseball, good defense on both sides until the seventh inning when Dave Keller rallied. They had a, a walk, and then a hit, and then a mammoth smash by Mike Graney, the game winner, to put the game away. Grandy on the day had a home run and a base hit, and then that extra base hit. So he was three for four on the afternoon with three runs batted in. So the final score again from La Mesa Junior High School field, Dave Keller plumbing in blue five and La Mesa four.
Welcome to the second game of our double header. Faith Chapel, the opponent now against the winner of the first game of the double header, Dave Keller Plumbing. They had a really outstanding first game as they came from behind to win 5 4. In this game, we're in the top of the first. And hitting for Faith Chapel is Rudy. Ledesma, a short stop. Two men away right here in the first. Two quick outs, ground outs. And a walk to Ledesma. And the first runner on for Faith Chapel. I'm George Morrow bringing you all the action. And anybody watching it, hope you're enjoying the atmosphere of Shakey's too. Jeff Hall, the left fielder, the cleanup man facing. The pitcher for Bob Gillespie, who's pitching the second game also. He was the winner in the first game. A high chopper to third, thrown there to first, and in time. Good defense. And the side is retired after a half inning of play. Faith Chapel nothing. Team in blue coming to bat. Plumbing, the winners of the first game over their opponent, La Mesa, playing very well. They are now 9-2 and two on the season. However, the opponent in the second game, Faith Chapel, are 10-2. and two. So, if Dave Keller does win today, again, then they will be the sole possession of first place. So, first place at stake in this second game. And a foul ball off to the left side and out of play by the hitter, Ed Stennett. Ed was a very productive man his first game. He was on base three out of four times at the plate. With a few walks scattered in there. So, Eddie playing third base in the second game. And a strike call. The strike was pretty much heard very well throughout the ballpark. And a ground ball, second base. Throwing to first. In time. And no, the umpire says safe, so it was a close call, but the umpire has said safe there, so an infield hit for Ed Stennett. And now, Cuz Garcia will be up. Cuz has had a good day. A couple of hits in the first game of the doubleheader. And the pitch to him. Inside, low. Dave Keller now batting here in the bottom of the first inning. Nobody has scored as of yet, as the game has just started. And now a walk to Cuz Garcia and two men aboard for Dave Keller Plumbing. And they have some good momentum in this ball game. They've already won one today, and they had to come from behind to do it. And now they're playing a second game here, and they look like they have a lot of spirit in that clubhouse. Inside and at the home plate feet area, and low, 1-0. and oh. Strike called, 1-1-1. One, one, one. To Mike Grandy, the star of the first game, Mike, a powering drive, and in, in the corner, and no, a foul ball. The base runners were going, and I believe it looked like a fair one, but it did curve foul towards the last six feet of it. High, wide ball. Center fielder makes the catch. Now throwing to second, but the runner does move up, though. And now hustling back to third, the man going from second to third. Gets back to third safely as he had ideas about scoring. So a high fly ball by Mike Grandy isn't out. However, it did advance the base runner. So no matter what happens with Mike Grandy at the plate, things do happen for this Dave Keller ball, ball club. Al Gardner now, the captain of this team. Shortstop is up. Strike called. 
and the pitch to Gardner. Low and away, one and one. Gardner had a pretty good first game himself. And a nice drive there to the shortstop. And the third, and he is safe as he gets back there. A hard shot against the dirt, but not on the ground, and that was a line out. So Gardner lines out to the shortstop. And now Bob Gillespie, the starting pitcher in game one, and also now here in game two, is up. Inside and down, a ball. And a ball swung the opposite way, away from the playing field and out of play. One ball and one strike. And everybody gets back to their positions and we're ready to go again here. And a little looping drive to right field, caught there by the right fielder, the third out. So Dave Keller Plumbing threatening, but not scoring, leaving two men on. And after an inning, no score. Second inning of play, no score. Faith Chapel batting. Faith Chapel having a good season. They have won 10 ball games and have lost only two. As Dave Keller Plumbing is a half a game back at nine and two and they want to try to capture the first place lead this time of year and they're doing a very good job of it at least in the first game they won five four and in the second game they had some momentum but it did get snuffed out by faith chapel so second inning of play and now faith chapel's better jeff hall the left fielder And retrieved over there by the third baseman of Dave Keller. That was Al, that was the shortstop, Al Gardner, number five. This is, by the way, Bobby Cooper up now. Bobby, Jeff Hall had made the last out in the first inning. And now the pitch by Gillespie. Ball four, and Cooper walks. So a leadoff walk in this inning against Dave Keller Plumbing. And now John Chandler up. Outside, one ball and no strikes. And the pitch back. Away from the batter, 2-0 oh to Chandler. Chandler is the pitcher this afternoon for the Faith Chapel. Lesby now ready and pitching. In a drive, in the gap between left center and right field, the base hit all the way to the back. And I think the race, the runners are gonna score. I think the home run is there. And it is. John Chandler, a two run home run, and now Faith Chapel ahead, two nothing. And now Faith Chapel up 2-0 as the power hitter, the pitcher, John Chandler, batting in the number six position, hits a two-run shot over the left and right and center fielder's head. Actually, right and center fielder's head. And the man who had walked earlier, Doug Cooper, scores all the way from first base. And Dave Beeman now will be up to produce some more runs, possibly for Faith Chapel. The pitch. A drive, pass out Gardner shortstop into left field. Now bobbled out there by the left fielder, but nobody will advance. Strong throw to second, as the runner will retreat back to first base. Strike call from Gillespie. Mel Bishop, the right center fielder, stepping up. 2-0 oh as Gillespie falls behind. Maybe getting a little bit careful now as he gave up that home run previously. And a hard swing, but not much to it. Spliced a little foul to the left side and retrieved there by one of the ball players. Two balls and one strike. Bishop now looking in in the pitch. Hard swing and a foul ball to the left field side. Again, out of play. 
and he will do it again. The count of one ball and two strikes. A really nice view as you look to home plate behind you, the valley and the little dirt roads above you. Give us a really mountainous view here. And now a drive to center field. The center fielder should have it. And he does. So the first out of the enemy courted as Mel Bishop flies out to center field. So one away for the Dave Keller plumbing crew. As Faith Chapel has scored twice here on a two-run home run by John Chandler, the starting pitcher. So Ken Huey's up the left center fielder. He is batting in the number nine position. Ken wearing a red hat and a white shirt, similar to what John Chandler was wearing today. And a drive right back to the pitcher to first. And an easy, easy ending inning double play as the man is double off first. Two runs on a total of three base hits this inning. Seconding a play, Dave Keller trying to even things out here as they fall behind 2-0. One away as the first batter for Dave Keller, Bob Gillespie. Grounds out. And now Kenny Johnson, the left center fielder, will be up. We are in the second game of a twin bill here this afternoon at Little Mesa Junior High School Field. Hope all of you are having a good time watching this game and rooting for your team to win it. And a drive now, base hit, left field, coming around first, and then I'll be treating back as taking a wide turn was Kent Wright. That was Kent Wright, not Kenny Johnson. So Kent Wright, the right fielder, gets a base hit, and now Gary Rogers will be the batter. Rogers. Wearing the number six on his jersey. We are in the bottom of the second inning. And here's the pitch by the hurler for Bay Chapel. Swung on and tipped back away. And a strikeout is recorded by. And I believe that was a tip back into the glove of the catcher as he swung on it, didn't get much contact anyway, and it was a strike out recorded by John Chandler. Lucky Castillo, grounding the short to second and a force out. And the inning is over, nothing across. At the end of two, Faith Chapel two, and Dave Keller, nothing. Right now, Faith Chapel batting as Greg Mooney, the first baseman in the batter's box. He's playing first base. He's a big fellow for Faith Chapel, and I'm sure has a good reason why they're up there in the standings. They've got some power to this team. Pitches away from Mooney and out of the strike zone. One and one. Gillespie now getting cheered on by his teammates to do better. Throw that ball over the plate. And ball four, Gillespie walks the leadoff man in this third inning. So a slow start by Gillespie here. Hopefully he's not in awe of some of the power that Faith Chapel has. I'm sure he's doing his best to win this one for Dave Keller. It is a big win if they do win it today. Hard slash pass a pitcher. Second base to first, high throw. And he has saved. A good attempt there by Dave Keller, but to no avail. So 
to force South Ground out. However, as the double play was not made, as Sue Breeden grounds out to second. Now Stevie Woods lofting a fly ball to right field and caught there by the right fielder. Kent Wright now tagging up to second and hustling over there is Sue Breeden. So good hustle by Sue Breeden, but there are two outs. And now Rudy Ledesma will be up. Rudy Ledesma, he walked his first time up in the first inning. He was a race, though, on an out later on in the inning. Ledesma now looking in for the next pitch. Seeing one inside to him. And we have a one ball and one strike count to Rudy. And the pitch to him. Inside. And the correction on the count. Three balls and no strikes. And Gillespie is maybe tiring. This is his second ball game today. Not much rest in between. And the pitch. And a drive foul. Right field side out of play. Three and one to Rudy Ledesma. We are at La Mesa Junior High School Field. And a good ball game as Faith Chapel is a beating Dave Keller thus far in the top of the third inning as the score is 2-0. Faith Chapel hitting against the pitcher, Gillespie for Dave Keller. And a drive past the pitcher's glove, past the second baseman, a base hit, and now a run will score. And it is a 1-0, it is a 3-0 ball game. So Rudy Ledesma driving in the third run of the game for Faith Chapel. 3-0 to score. We are in the top of the third inning, two men away. And Jeff Hall is the batter. The pitch to him. And a drive to right field, catching it maybe. And the catch is made. And after, and after two and a half innings, Faith Chapel three and Dave Keller nothing. Dave Keller batting, plumbing team themselves, 9-2 on the year. And up for them is Don Liddy, the first baseman. Don looking at a couple pitches away, and now a little chopper to the pitcher's mound. Throwing the first underhand, an easy play, one away. So Liddy grounding out quickly, and now Ed Sennett, the third baseman, will be up. Ed is one for one with the base hit. Tough, tough ball club, this Faith Chapel team. If you look at it, they have the power to drive in a lot of runs and hit, hit some extra base hits, and it has happened already in this game. That's John Chandler getting the key blow, a two-run home run in the second inning. And coming to score behind John Chandler was Doug Cooper. And Ed Sennett looks at a pitch high and away. 2-0 to him, the pitch. A drive to right field, easy play for the right fielder. Right there, making the catch. And there is two away. Two away, Cruz Garcia will be the hitter. Cruz is cuz, excuse me. Walk his first time up, and now stepping in again here. He is playing right center in the second game also. And a strike to him. Inside, two and one to Cuz. Cuz had a pretty good ball game with a couple of hits in four times at bat. And a nice slash past the pitching mound in the second base and into center field, the base hit for Cuz. So Garcia is on first with two outs, a two out single. And now the big gun of the ball club, Mike Grandy. Mike had a big game-winning RBI's last ball game, which was the first game of the doubleheader, and he also had a home run in the early portion of the ball game. So he has outstanding power. Looks at one out of the strike zone, one and oh. Grandy flying out his first time up, but that fly out did advance a couple of runners into scoring position, although they did not get driven in. And now a line drive, center field side, base hit. Followed there by the center fielder, now Grandy 
driving into second base, and now Wren is coming home as Grandy drives home the first run for Dave Keller. And now the score is three to run. Dave Keller behind Faith Chapel. Turning in play now as Dave Keller getting a run back as Grandy driving a base hit into the left center field area and going coming home all the way around from first base is Cuz Garcia. So one run in this inning and more possibly on the way for Dave Keller Plumbing. And now Gardner trying to do something for his team. And a high fly ball though may produce an out here in the final one of the inning and it does. And the side is retired. So one run on one hit, one left. And after three innings of play, Faith Chapel three and Dave Keller Plumbing one. Fourth inning of play now, Faith Chapel batting. They are the road team in this ball game. They are ahead in the game, three to one. And the leadoff batter for Faith Chapel is Jeff Hall, the left fielder. And pitch to Hall right here. Low and inside, 2-0 to Jeff. Sun's kind of coming in today. Not many rays of it out left now. And drive to left field, and a nice play there by the left fielder. And one out is recorded. So a good job there by the left fielder of Dave Keller Plumbing, Mike Grandy, the man who has all that power in him. And we have one away. And Doug Cooper will be the hitter. Doug walked his first time up. Excuse me, that was Doug Cooper. Made a mistake on that one. And John Chandler now, the man who had the big blow, his previous time up, a two-run home run into right center field. So he is a man to be watched here. Tempted, but not take, not swinging, and taking 2-0 to Jeff Chandler. The pitch back. And a drive. Nice hard hit. Going back to the outfield over his head, and another run is going to come home. And I believe it's going to be another home run for Jeff Chandler. And yes, indeedy, it sure is. Jeff Chandler with that awesome power. It's another shot, this time over the center fielder's head. A little towards the left field side of the diamond. And now it is a four to one ball game. Jeff, John Chandler, the starting pitcher for Bay Chapel, showing awesome power. He's almost like Dave Kingman, hitting two home runs and two times at bat today. And right now sparking the team to a four to one lead. So Bay Chapel up by three over Dave Keller Plumbing and Keller Plumbing battling back and trying to stay within range of a possible rally as was done in the first game of the doubleheader. And they played a different team there. They played La Mesa and they were actually trailing four to one in that ball game. So a similar score right here and at the same time of the game. So things could change as the game is a seven inning one. So John Beeman following Chandler, facing Gillespie, the pitcher for Dave Keller Plumbing. And yes, I believe so. The manager of Dave Keller Plumbing is going to his bench, and a new pitcher in the ball game. It will be a person that I do not know. He's a man. Sorry to say, I do not know his name. His number is not on the roster, but he is coming in. I will call him Numero Uno for Dave Keller Plumbing. And I am corrected, it is Dave Keller himself and his ball club. So the captain of the team, or the co-captain along with Al Gardner, is pitching, trying to keep his team alive. Keller pitching and throwing it out of the strike zone. And the pitch. And a drive 
to left field, charging the ball, and caught there by the left fielder. A nice throw to second as the runners do not advance. A nice play by the left fielder. And keeping the base runners in check there as he threw the ball to second base as the man hitting the ball did not make any further advances. That, of course, is David Beeman. There is only one. There are now two men out in this inning. And now a little splice drive trying it for the first baseman, but it is out of his reach and out of the fair territory, and we'll do it again. Two men away. This is the top of the fourth inning. Faith Chapel ahead now. Four to one as John Chandler has hit his second home run of the ball game. Mike Bishop, the right center fielder, swinging and hitting it down the line, and a fair ball, a base hit. A nice gun throw there by the defense of Mike Grandy, keeping the runners close. And now we have runners on, I believe, second. And first. All right, runners on second and first. And two men outs. Two men out. And now Ken Huey is up. Ken is a feared slugger, I believe, like the other members are. And numero uno, Dave Keller, pitching for his team. Now a little number in front of the mound, and throwing the first in time. The side is retired as Huey grounds out to the pitcher with a little number. One run, though, on the home run by the slugger John Chandler, and one le two left at the end of three and a half innings. Faith Chapel four, and Dave Keller one. Fourth inning of play, the bottom half, and Dave Keller, his plumbing crew is up. And the first person batting is, I believe, Al Gardner, the shortstop. Gardner is 0 for 1, lining out to the pitcher. A hard shot, but the pitcher Chandler is right there to grab it, and he is now 0 for 1. And now the pitch to him. A hard drive right in the area, again, but a base hit this time. And Gardner which is first without any problem. He is a leadoff man this inning, so a good sign of things to come, if they are to come now, for Dave Keller Plumbing Crew in blue. And now Bob Gillespie is up. I believe he's still in the ball game. He was replaced on the mound by Dave Keller, the man who team's nickname is based on, or sponsorship, actually. And the pitch by Chandler. A hard drive to left field, a base hit. Going to third is Keller. He'll make it no problem. And the second on the throw is Kent Wright. So Gary Rogers singling and advancing the second on the throw as Kent Wright going to third. So Ryan is on second and third now. And we have nobody out. And Dave Keller Plumbing wanting to come back, and they have done so before, and it is not an impossible task at all for them. Low and away, 1-0 to Rocky Castellini. Rocky 0 for 1, ground out to second his first time. And a hard drive now, left field side, and it's going to be a fair ball. One run is in, two runs are in, as Kent Wright and Gary Rogers score. Castellini on second with a double. Score now is 4 to 3. So Rocky Castellini doubling in two runs to make it close. Now Dave Keller plumbing and trailing by one, as Faith Chapel is ahead 4 to 3. And now Don Lindy up. 
And a pitch. And a strike, one and one. And the pitch back. A high, lofting fly ball over third, running the third baseman, makes the catch good play out there. And that's the first out of the inning. Low and away, and I believe I had my lineups a little bit off. I think this is Rocky up right now, Castellini. Looks at a strike, one and one. And the pitch. Hard drive, past third base hit, it, down the line, near the line. Rocky having a slash hit down the line there, a base hit for him. Runners now at the corners, first and third, with one out. So two runs have come in, a two runs batted in double by one of the Dave Keller plumbing players, doing it in fashion as he went and drilled it down the left field side. 4-3 and the pitch. A little looper over the second baseman into center field, caught, and now going home on a sack fly is one of the runners there. It is 4-4 four four now. Tie ball game, a sacrifice fly, a run batted in. I believe for Don Liddy right there. A good aggressive base running as the Dave Kellogg plumbing crew go for the extra base. And I'm sure they work as hard as they do in their fields of work. 4-4 four, four now. A little lopping fly ball to left center and caught there by the outfielder. Side is retired, but the damage was done somewhat. Two runs on two hits. And after four innings of play, Faith Chapel four, Dave Keller. Welcome back to men's slow pitch softball right here at La Mesa Junior High School Field in La Mesa, California. I am George Marble, happy to bring you all the action, and if anybody likes these videos they're watching at Shakey's or wherever they may be, give us a ring at 695. 1320 and ask for Dave and I'm sure he'll help you out and put you on an order list for these videos because they really are entertaining as you watch all your friends and relatives playing the game of softball. Line drive now to third base on one hop throwing the first drop there by the third, third baseman and safe is the call against the leadoff man in the inning here and so I believe it is Greg Mooney the base runner for Faith Chapel, so a man on first base, no one out. A nice try there by the third baseman, Ed Sennett, but the first baseman did not have Keith Hernandez feeling style. And a little chopper, second baseman going over, throwing to second there. And he is safe, going to third, now hustling, and he is gonna be out at third base. Hustling, but not in time to reach the bag there, and he is out. So the man hustling, going to second, but then trying for third on that little infield number to the pitching mound, and he has thrown out a third. So one out recorded, a man on first base, and the next batter for Faith Chapel. And the pitch by Dave Keller. Strike. Killing out back and ready to deliver the next one. And he does so. And swinging a little late, trying to hit the line. A good try there by the hitter, but a little bit too much away. And a foul ball to the right side. We are in the top of the fifth, Faith Chapel holding on to a Four to three lead. And now another ball hit the same direction and out of play by the hitter. And now a one ball and two strike count. Yes, this game is tied up as the run came in 
on the fly ball sacrifice fly. The runner came home and is now a four to four ball game. Dave Chapel trying to break the tie right here. And a little grounder to the third. Throwing a second. There's one to second first. A double play try, nine in time to get one at second. And there are two men away. So two outs. The game is tied. A correction on the score again, four to four. Dave Chapel and Dave Keller fighting each other hard. This one, two teams with good records. And the pitch by Keller. And that was a strike. And now the next pitch. Inside and Drew pulled down the left field line and it's a foul ball. Pitch was inside, a little fall floater inside and muscled and pulled to the left field side. So a little bit too much that way and a foul ball and we'll do it again. With I believe a one in one count. All right, one and one count and Dave Keller now ready to pitch the next one to this hitter. Again, he does it, and again, but this time a fair ball. They go into the bag now, second, and he does not get it. He's trying to, oh, he's getting off the base a little, faking it. But he did not get out on that. He did not tag him. There are two men out. There are runners now on first, second, and I believe the bases are full. Correction, no, runners on first and second. All right, two men out. Four to four ball game. We are in the top of the fifth inning. Dave Keller now having little problems with finding the plate. Two and oh now, the pitch. A strike in the inside corner. Two and one, Dave Keller facing his hitter. The pitch, ground ball. First baseman gloves it and snags it up, and the third is out. I believe it was a little line drive. It didn't look, and he is going by the field, and he tagged the runner going to second for the final out of the inning. I mean, on first doing so. So after four and a half innings, the score is squared away at four and four. And we're plugged in for another inning here, folks, as the bottom of the fifth will begin as Dave Keller plumbing crew in blue will bat. And leading off, I believe it is Cuz Garcia. The pitch. Low. 2-0. and oh, And the next pitch underway. 3-0. And, oh, and a J John now... Chandler in danger of walking the batter, and he does so right here. So Chandler walking the leadoff man in the bottom of the fifth inning. As Dave Keller pulling wants to break a 5-4-4 four, four tie and put some runs on the board in this game, and they have had proof from people seeing it they can do so. In the previous game, they were behind 4-1, and they came from behind to eventually win the game against La Mesa, the opening ball game. 5-4, to four, scoring a run in the seventh inning. In the pitch. Hard drive. And a foul ball. So Mike Grandy, the slugger, lights, slashing one down the left field line, foul. And he will do it again. Grandy is a power hitter, and I believe he's one of the top hitters of this ball club just by what I have seen today these few innings of uh, the chance to look and see the quality of the ball players Grandy now up again in a high fly ball lofted in the air time to get under it is one of the outfielders he does he whips it and rolls to first and nobody will advance on that play so cuz Garcia stays at first and Mike Grandy flying out to left center field. And Al Gardner, the co-captain of this team, a 
Dave Kellers, the shortstop, batting. He is one for two, a line drive out, and a base hit through the hole in the center field. Gardner looking and waiting. Strike call to him. And now the next pitch. Hard drive, caught there by the third baseman, Will, and thrown to first. And he is. I believe he is safe on that play. We'll look again at that carefully. And he is out. A great, great play by the third baseman. Let's look at that one again. A ball that was hit very hard, stabbed by the glove hand of the third baseman, almost looking like Greg Nettles, wheeling around and throwing hard to first base in the dirt, scooped up, handled nicely by him, and the out was recorded. And now the next hitter up. Line drive on the ground, one hop. Second and the first, side is retired. Good defense there by Faith Chapel. Dave Keller held scoreless this inning. At the end of five innings of play, Dave Keller four, Faith Chapel four. Sixth inning of play as we begin, and the slugger for Faith Chapel, John Chandler, hitting two home runs this inning in this ball game, in his first two appearances, and trying for three in a row. I guess the question is, when was the last batter to hit four home runs in a softball game? The pitch, a hard shot, and a base hit, and I guess the doubt has been spelled right there. Chandler low reaching on a hard hit single to left, and he is now three for three. So Chandler getting on in the leadoff single in the sixth inning for Faith Chapel. And now Keller will contend with his next batter. Strike call to Dave Beeman. Dave is one for two in the afternoon. And a high lofting fly ball to second base side near center field. Center fielder calls, makes the catch, one away. So one out. Mel Bishop, the right center fielder, up. As time is a wasting here, as the players say, and they're hustling to their positions. Bishop looking and not seeing what he likes and looks at a ball. Keller in this ball game did not start. Gillespie started, didn't have an easy time in the second inning, so Keller has taken over since then. And now a drive foul, but caught there by the third baseman and a good play as he gets the foul out. So two men out now and Ken Huey is up. The left center fielder wearing white today. The pitch to Huey. And a strike. Dave Keller now trying to throw some strikes here to end this game. And a foul fly. A nice play against the fence. And let's take a look at that play again. The right fielder, Kent Wright, going to his left side against the fence and snagging the ball against that area in his glove side for the out. Well, the inning is over, and they have five and a half innings of play. Faith Chapel four and Dave Keller four. Bottom of the sixth inning now, Dave Keller plumbing up and trying to break this 4-4 square off. On a hard slash past Chandler, the pitcher, into center field, a base hit. And now a nice leadoff single for Gary Rogers. It's the second hit in the ball game. So he's on with a leadoff base hit, and that will be an important one if, of course, things happen in this inning for Dave Keller. And a strike call, first pitch over by Chandler. And the next pitch. Strike two call, Chandler throwing strikes, nothing else. The pitch, a hard slash, third base to second, there's one, the first. 
And Kent Wright beating the throw to first. So one out has been only recorded on that one. And there's only one out this inning. We are in the bottom of the sixth inning. Score is four to four. Dave Keller Plumbing versus Faith Chapel. Good ball game, and I'm sure no one was surprised by it. Both teams are close to the top. Faith Chapel 10 and 2, and Dave Keller Plumbing 9 and 2. So all Dave Keller fans know that this game is important for them. The pitch. A little lofted fly ball. Foul territory. Going over is a fan, and he misses it, but is out of play. Two strikes on the batter. One out. We're in the sixth inning. And a ball inside to the batter. And now a hard drive to left field. And left fielder has it for the out. There's two outs. A nice long throw to second. Gary Rogers had ideas about advancing a second, but I'm sure he would not on that accurate throw to second base by the left fielder. So two outs. Gabe Keller trying to get another run aboard to pass the Faith Chapel Ball Club. And now the pitch to the next hitter. Away from him. 1-0 the count. And now the next pitch. A strike. 1-1. One one. As the game is moving along a little quicker now than it was. Strike 2. 1-2. One and, and now the next pitch. Close, but no cigar, as they say. Two balls and two strikes. And now the pitch. A line drive near the pitcher's mound. Second and now to first. Good play. Nice stretch by the first baseman. And let's look at that play again. The second baseman had the ball near the bag. He gloved it, off balance, threw to first base. The man on first stretched the ball, stretched his legs out like a rubber band, and the out was recorded. So the side is retired, and after six innings of play, the score is still Faith Chapel four and Dave Keller four. We are now entering the last inning of the ball game, the seventh. The score nodded even at four and four. Faith Chapel and Dave Keller facing each other. Dave Keller won the first game of the doubleheader today against La Mesa, their opponent, by a score of five to four. It's an exciting rally in the seventh inning. Back here in the seventh, Faith Chapel and one of their batters facing Dave Keller. Inside, three and oh now, Dave Keller falling behind as the players seem to be pressing for this game to end, as they do usually only play around an hour for a seven-inning ball game, which is a very, very good speed to get it done in time. Strike three called, and I thought those pitches were not over, but apparently they were, and a strikeout is recorded for Dave Keller. And that is Dave's second of the ball game. One away, and a big, big strikeout. And now Ken Huey will be up against Dave Keller, and Huey now ready to hit, and he does, a little lofty fly ball to right. Right fielder's got it right there. Kent Wright, and two men away. So two quick outs for Dave Keller Plumbing. One more out to go, as the seventh inning has been going by very quickly. Two men away, Faith Chapel now bringing to the plate another batter as the players get themselves organized in correct fashion. And now the pitch back. Line drive, base hit, center field. Bobble there by the center fielder, past him. Now backing him up as the left right fielder. And now going all the way to third base and scoring is one of the players for Faith Chapel and a big, big costly mistake by the right fielder by Dave Keller. And that could cost them the ball game unless they do rally in the bottom of the seventh inning. Hey, now a misjudged pop against the chest of the center fielder has cost a run as the man comes all the way around to score and now a good play there by the center fielder keeping it in front of him as cuz had the ball in front of him cuz garcia the right center fielder two man away though and a base hit is there so a man on first two outs to run in a score of five to four fifth chapel over dave keller now the pitch. A ball inside and that's away from the knees. And now the pitch by Keller. Hard drive. 
crash foul on the left side. One, two strikes. Bay Chapel ahead now, five to four. They took the lead earlier, two nothing after two innings, and now are ahead for the first time since then. And a foul ball. And now Keller is still ahead on the count. One ball and two strikes. Most of the ball players are confident of Dave Keller that they will come from behind this ball game. They only have one run to catch up on, and it's a very impossibility, especially with Mike Br Grandy possibly hitting in that inning. And now the pitch. Good face chapel hitter. And a drive. Outfield side. Center field has got a beat on it. And Cuz has the ball in his glove for the third out. I'm going to go home. So after six and a half innings of play, Dave Chapel five and Dave Keller four. Back here at La Mesa Junior High School field with some good baseball action, actually softball. Faith Chapel ahead 5-4, Dave Keller trying to fight back and right here, a little pop up to short center field and caught there by the center fielder. And a big out, of course. And one away. So Dave Keller having two more outs to try to get a run home here. First out has been recorded as the ball game is close to the end. And now the pitch to the next batter. Ball, one ball and no strikes. John Chandler has been in all the way, and he will pick up a complete game victory if he does stay in this ball game. And now the pitch. Hard shot and a base hit, a big base hit right there. And he will stop at first base and go no further and take no chances of this tight ball game. And now we have a hitter coming up for Dave Keller Plumbing, and I believe it is Cuz Garcia, the man who made the last put out of the inning. Cuz is the right center fielder, and he has had a productive day. He's been on twice, and he has singled once. So he's been on every time he's been up, three for three for Cuz Garcia. And of course, on deck batter is Mike Brandy, the hero of earlier, the earlier game today. So this is a very important part of the team to show what kind of character they may have in coming from behind for a second game in a row. And now a drive to center field, a base hit for Cuz Garcia. It's in it now going to the third, and he is safe at third base. Good base running by Ed Stinnett. Crashing into third base, the ball was dropped there by the third baseman of Faith Chapel. And now runners on second and third. Cuz Garcia on second, Ed Stinnett on third, and now the man of the hour right here. Mike Randy. Mike Randy had a big game his first one. He had a home run his first at bat in the opening ball game against La Mesa. His second at bat, he had a high, deep, flop fly over the head hit. It was not counted as a home run, but it would have been if the ball game was in earlier innings. But it ended up being a game-winning RBI in the seventh inning. So Mike Randy driving in, Grandy driving in the game-winning run the first game and right here he's got a chance to do it again the same type of hit and here we go as granny stepping in and the next in the delivery high and inside one ball and no strikes Mike Grandy wearing the number 31 and is playing left field this afternoon we have Cuz Garcia on second and Ed Stennett on third and the pitch to Grandy inside they are not giving him many things to hit. They know he's a dangerous batter. John Chandler knows it. And now the pitch back to him. A drive, left field side, deep. Could be a foul ball. <laughs> and it is a foul ball. Outside the left field, near the fence. As the, pitching, as the pitcher, Al Chandler, apparently is trying to throw the ball inside to Grandy to cut down on his power. And it, it seemed to help there. But still, he has a lot of power. And now, a drive, hard shot, bobbled there by the third baseman. And now, all hands are safe. And a tie ball game. So, Grandy, even though it was not an official hit, does do some damage there as he grounds the ball and gets a tying run batted in. 
5-5 ball game now. And now a drive off the glove, and it looks as though the ball game is over, and it is. Al Gardner driving in the winning run for Dave Keller, and 6-5. They have done it again, folks, with a rally in the last of the seventh inning. Right here, they scored two, and they stood up, and again, got to give a credit to Dave Keller plumbing. So Dave Keller plumbing winning their second game and sweeping the twin bill. First beating La Mesa 5-4 and right here beating Faith Chapel 6-5. Back with some more details in just one moment. I'm George Marble. Welcome to, welcome back actually to La Mesa Junior High School Field with some victorious Dave Keller plumbing crew in blue. And how do you fellas feel about the victory today? Well, I think it showed a lot of character for our team and that uh, we have a lot of potential. This is only our second year, two and a half years actually together. And, and actually none of us have really played softball before except a couple of our guys and it shows a lot of character, I think. With me to my right is Mike Grandy and to my left is Al Gardner. Al Gardner. So uh, two men are the keys of this ball club throughout this uh, doubleheader today. And uh, Mike, what were your feelings going through your mind in that first game when the score was tied and you were up there with a uh, few men on base? Well, I just was concentrating more or less on a base hit. And my brother really helps me out a lot in practice, trying to teach me to keep my shoulder up, my back shoulder. And it, it just paid off this game. What are your feelings towards the second game as you drove in the winning run with the uh, couple men on base? Actually. Uh, a, a couple of mistakes there, and the fielders kind of gave you a break to get up there in the, in the ball game. Well, it wasn't a matter of mistakes. We just hit the ball hard like we've been doing all year, and I'm real proud of the whole team. Uh, we've always come through. We've won. I think this is our fifth game we've come through behind and come up and won the game. Uh, everybody always comes through. We've got a good team, and um, I just wanted to get up there and hit the ball. Uh, there was one out, so if I flew out, we'd have won the game. I just wanted to hit it deep to the outfield. Fortunately, I got a base hit when we won the game. And uh, who is your next opponent now you'll be facing? Uh, I don't know. I don't look that far ahead. I just made it a habit to look to each game, take it individually, and study the team and see what we can do against them. I'll tell you Wednesday. All right, that's great. And uh, how many home runs have you hit this year? Um, uh, I don't. I don't know. You don't? It, it's tough, you know, with uh, no fences and stuff. It, you know, some go through that are errors, and just I, I forget. I can't keep count. <laughs> and uh, do the pitchers? They usually have the same starters for every ball game, or do they change pitchers quite often? Oh, we rotate two different pitchers. We have Bobby and then Dave Keller. Dave was our, who was our starting pitcher last year, and we bring him in, in relief a lot this year, because uh, Bobby throws a nice arc and he keeps the he keeps the ball, <coughs> keeps the pitches from getting flat, so the batters really don't have that good a chance to hit the ball hard. And when he does tire out, Dave comes in and just puts the cap on it. All right. Well, nice talking to you, gentlemen, and good luck to you on your next ball game, whenever it may be. You won two today, so you must feel you feeling pretty good. I think we're going to take it in the playoffs this year. <laughs> had a little bad luck before. <laughs> You've had the ability to come from behind, and I guess today it showed it. So once again, the final scores, you guys won today, the first game, 5-4, to four, and the second game, 6-5, to five, both games, rallies in the seventh inning. So I'm George Marble, wrapping it up here for Shakey's Pizza and Versatile Video. Hoping you are enjoying this game and are watching it in the future. Final score again, this second game of the doubleheader, 6-5, to five, over chapel.